I see a lot of misconceptions when it relates to len in Python. I think partly because it's used with both strings, but also with lists. And that maybe is a bit confusing. Let's have a look at two examples of both uses. Well, the strings, first of all, len is short for length and it gives you the length of the string. So if I wrap it in a print line, I'm here working out the length of hello. In other words, how many characters does hello have? Well, it's five. So if I run the code, we should get five. And that could be useful if we are, say, enforcing a certain length of a password or a pin. So if I'm asking the user to enter a pin and it must be four characters long, I might do something like this. While the length of the pin is not equal to four, then we're going to say must be four and get them to re-enter. So we're using the len function to make sure it is always going to be four characters long. What about of lists? Well, if I set a dummy list just as an example, and if I go something like print len nums, this would give me four because I've got four items in the list. And we might use this to iterate through the list and ensuring we get every index. I might go something like for iron range len nums. If I then finish it by going print nums index i, this would print out every item in the list. And len's really useful here because if the list grows and has some more items in it, well, it's going to automatically calculate the correct upper index.